Whether one is a seasoned golfer or just new to the sport of golf, the Botswana Accountancy College Annual Golf Day provides just the perfect getaway experience for its partners and or stakeholders to enjoy the breeze and spectacle of the teeing ground. Hosted for the second time, the Botswana Accountancy College Annual Golf Day is an event that supports the institution's social responsibility initiatives. Through the proceedings from this event, BAC is able to contribute to the welfare of communities within which it operates. With the stakeholder engagement, creating a platform where connections are made and business relationships strengthened over a game of golf. Today we get to join Botswana Accountancy College for the second annual golf day. This year's BAC Second Annual Golf Day was graced by the Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Douglas Letzola Teb. It is my pleasure to be here with the Botswana Accountancy College on the actual second, on the second uh, golf day, which is something done for charity. I'm proud to be with you this, this afternoon. Um, I'd really like to thank the executive director, uh, Mrs. Guru, management staff, uh, players, and the uh, media for coming to join us this beautiful day. The minister officially teed off as a way to kickstart the proceedings of the day. Over and above, the Golf Day provides a platform where connections are made and business relationships are strengthened over a game of golf and some refreshments. Throughout the day, attendees of this event not only enjoy the game of golf, but they also engage on light exercises that allow them to leisurely stroll around the golf course. The intention of this uh, Golf Day is basically to raise funds with our collaborative partners, with the industry, uh, with the people that we've been working with for quite a long time you know, so that we can be able to give back uh, to this youth through those um, areas that have just touched on, like upskilling and retooling. And not only that, you know, to also give the underprivileged who are not able to give themselves anything. And we can be able to share with them basically what we call the lower quadrant of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And this is basically where you say food and shelter and the small little things that they need to survive on a daily basis. So I think it has been a great journey. To be honest with you, when we started last year, um, we had people coming and, 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 and we know that this is a very good initiative. Uh, we didn't make really money um, in, in, you know, that we could have given to, to youth. But what we did is we saved by you know, um, getting our stakeholders and our partners to take care of the costs that would run this particular golf course which means then that what we had budgeted for specifically for this particular day, we then shared it with the, with the underprivileged. This year, wow, we actually had so many people who were interested, but because of COVID protocols, we actually had to limit the number to about 100. Um, and, you know, with this 100, we did our costing and we did our financials, you know, sort of proposal uh, on a brown paper exercise, and we realized we're actually going to make money this year. And uh, well done to, to the team. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use it um, for basically venturing into these upskilling and to retooling initiatives uh, for the youth and a little bit to be able to share uh, with, with, with our, our, our constituencies that we are talking about. The game of golf is a club and a ball sport in which players use various clubs to hit balls into a series of holes. All one has to do is to put a ball into play by striking it with a club on the team ground. Today we are at the second annual BAC Golf Day, which is a charity golf day. It is a social responsibility activity by BAC, where they are trying to give back to society. They have chosen the sport of golf as a, a vehicle which they will give to society to do their social corporate responsibility. The objective of golf is to put the ball in a hole. Uh, usually when people learn about golf, you know, 18 holes. You play 18 holes of different length, different difficulties, and the objective is the player to hit the ball, which is on the ground, into the hole. So the one who hit the least amount of time is 
Tugahau is the one who wins. So here with us we have uh, the team from The Voice who are part of the sponsors for the BAC Golf Day and the, they wanted as part of the sponsorship instead of putting a team to play they wanted to come and learn how to play golf. The annual BAC Golf Day ended with a prize giving ceremony where some of the players ascended the podium to get their winning prizes. Last year, the annual golf day registered 76 players and received sponsorship from 21 companies. This year, there were 100 players on the green and 23 companies sponsored the event. We are grateful that this event looks set to grow from year to year. On behalf of the BAC board and management, I take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the sponsors who supported us for our inaugural golf day in 2019 and continue to invest in our pursuit to support a knowledge-based economy through the promotion of social inclusion, active citizenship, and development of our youth. This reflects your commitment to the development and inspiration of the youth. We are also pleased we have new sponsors on board who we believe have a shared purpose to collaborate with us in creating opportunities for our youth to thrive and strengthen their passion for innovation. It is through relentless and substantial contribution to all this of all the sponsors rather, that we have managed to make the Golf Day an annual event and we thank you very much for that. BAC management, it is remarkable that you were able to find the courage to continue with your corporate social responsibility initiatives to raise funds through the annual Golf Day despite the current environment we find ourselves in. I believe in future the Alumni Association will fully participate to support and ensure that more outreach programs are delivered to our communities. The Vision 2036 through the National Transformation Agenda encourages participation of the multi-stakeholder partnerships that mobilize and, and knowledge and share knowledge, expertise and technology and even financial resources so that we help the need. It is government's expectation that the nation will attain its goal to transform from a resource to a knowledge-based economy. It is therefore commendable that BAC continues to encourage and engage stakeholders to come up with collaborative initiatives such as this one. So through these partnerships, we can make greater societal impact and impact skills. We serve the people and create avenues and support structures that will sustain our communities for a lifetime. The idea behind the Golf Day event demonstrates strides taken by an institution ready to play a part in the transformation of the social welfare of citizens. It is indeed a great honor for me to join you this evening to celebrate the Botswana Accountancy College second annual Golf Day and Awards ceremony. Let me thank you all for having found time to participate at this very important event, despite the circumstances the COVID-19. Many are wondering about my golf skills. I know recently I've been able to pull a surprise one with cycling, but besides my firm support for social causes and being an accountant myself, it was important for me to honor the invitation from BAC. Similar to yourself, one would say, am I a golfer? No. Do I own a set of golf clubs? Yes. So that's a good start. 
Your support to BAC's corporate social responsibility initiatives is invaluable. It is indeed commendable to witness individuals and companies coming together to contribute towards the improvement of the lives of our communities and ultimately making a positive impact on the lives of the beneficiaries. I'm informed that last year Botswana Accountancy College hosted its first annual golf day as one of the initiatives to raise funds for the corporate social responsibility initiatives where they got 180,000 pila. It's good for a start. And I'm hoping that this year it's double or treble that. Part of which was used to support the adopted schools of Sebele 1 Primary School in Molebolole and Nakato Junior Secondary School in Sowa Town. Players who put an exceptional performance on the team ground were presented with prizes. To this date, BAC has graduated more than 11,000 qualified professionals who are making meaningful impact across various sectors of the economy. The institution prides itself in producing graduates of high quality as bestowed by the BQA, HRDC, employers and the nation at large. We will continue to search for partnership opportunities that can lead the expansion of the BAC brand and its programs. Times have changed. And as BAC, we have been energized to be innovative, agile, and resilient to transverse through the volatile changes we find ourselves going through. I stand here proud and privileged that among us today, we have our African woman of strength, a woman of wisdom, a woman of discipline, our mother, our sister, a friend, the first lady of our beautiful country, Botswana, Ms. Neo Jane Masisi. Thank you so much for honoring us with your presence, your words of encouragement and guidance in all facets of life, and especially governance our wisdom that will linger in our minds for a very long time. Our heartful thanks goes to the Member of Parliament and the Assistant Minister of Presidential Affairs without necessarily completing the whole shebang, but we really appreciate you. Um, for you to have been found it fit to be here with us, given the challenges in your office, uh, um, we feel very proud and we think that we are valued. We also would like to um, share our heartful thanks and to our partners and supporters for the general and generous and noble contributions and gestures that we've made today. Our annual Golf Day continues to grow in numbers of players, sponsors and funds raised because of invaluable encouragement and cooperation. We are grateful for your patronage and we open our arms fully to you for business.